What's up guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be continuing on in the theme of interior design. So today I'm going to be modeling a bedroom in Revit and we're going to be adding all of the elements and then creating a cool rendering of our Revit bedroom interior design. But before I get started I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day. And also, if you want to check out more interior design tutorials, uh, check out the links in the description of this video. I'm going to be linking up all of the interior design tutorials I did so far. Okay, and let me just minimize Revit here for a second. You can see here I have two families, and this is just a bed family and a television set family. This is just something I'm going to be using for, for this project. Okay, so let's jump back into Revit and go to the architectural template for this, just for... For interior design, I prefer architectural template, and let's just set the units to centimeters because that's just what I use. Okay, so I'm just going to type in WA for wall, and let's set this to 300, and let's just place a rectangle like so. And before we do anything else, the, the size of our room will be determined by the bed, because that's the most important part. So I'm just going to load in these two families over here, so I have my bed family inside of Revit. So now I can place it, and then that will tell me how much room I have. So let me place the bed like this. Let's place it close to the wall, let's leave some room here. And then we can bring in this wall over here like so, and this wall inside like this. Okay, so when we have something that looks like this, now let's change this wall to a storefront wall, and let's just select all of these walls and set them to level 2. Go apply, and let's go into south elevation, and let's bring this down to 300 centimeters because it's way too tall. Okay, so once we have something that resembles this, let me just bring this in. Let's place it at 80. Okay, so we have something that looks like a room, and let's check this dimension out. This is 120. Yeah, we can bring it to one. Oh, or let's leave it at 120, that's okay. Okay, so let's just place a door over here, kind of a entrance. To the room and maybe we can move the bed a bit to this side of the room okay so we have some basic setup over here and let's just place a floor on the, the bottom of the room of course we need to have a floor and let's set the material of the floor immediately so let's just go here by category and let's search for some carpet material so let's see fabric carpet yeah this is the one I like to use so let's load it in go apply okay so now we have a decent carpet on our floor. Okay, so let's now, before we place any any floor above, let's just do all of the in-place elements or families that we need to place. So first I'm going to be doing a giant cupboard over here. So let me just go to component, model in place, search for, let's just do furniture. And okay, so let's go to create, extrusion, rectangle so let's create a rectangle kind of like this and for this distance it should be at around 60 centimeters that's usually what most of these are and then let's create another rectangle and at an offset of let's do three centimeters so three and let's do it double because usually you don't have to do this if you're doing just interior renderings I would just like to do one of those floor plan renderings that would look kinda cool so I need to have some depth to this thing and now let's just find this upper arrow and you can attach it to the top like so okay so once you have this let's just go now into create void forms void extrusion set the work plane and set it to this extrusion over here this face and then you can place a rectangle kind of like so okay so let's see this should go to I don't know over there and for the floor offset let's see let's place it at 60 and for this one let's place it at 40 okay so we have some sort of an extrusion and when we see it should go around let's say 40 centimeters inward okay so we have this extrusion over here so we're going to be placing a shelf over here just as a detail for interior design and also it's I guess useful so just go to extrusion 
set work plane to pick a plane and pick the same plane and then go extrusion kind of like that and the one thing you're just going to do is you're going to extend it over here by the value of five centimeters then just go finish and this inner one you're going to attach to this point over here and the outer one let's just place it five centimeters okay so you have this thing and now let's carve out a shelf so just go to void extrusion set work plane pick a plane set it to this thing and then give it an offset of like four centimeters and then you do something like this you just hit space offset it inward and let's just do align and align this thing to this thing okay just go finish and here for this go with 35 or or actually this looks cool with a little bit of extra room over here okay so let's leave it at that uh, now select the whole big thing and we need to add a couple of more voids just to see separation for the all of the elements so just go set pick a plane set it to this thing okay so now we're creating separation for the doors on the cupboard where you're actually placing your sheets and your clothing or whatever so just extend this downward like that and then you can just offset it by one centimeter it would usually be a lot smaller but I'm making it purposely, pur purposely bigger just in order to, to be able to see that. And let's go over here and make this smaller, that looks fine. Okay, and now you can just copy it, so just go copy and you can copy it here by, I don't know, like value of 60. So usually this is the, the generic value for all of these openings. Yeah, you can do it kind of like that. And then here we're just going to be aligning all of these to this. So you can go multiple align and then align all of them. This one as well. Okay, and when we go finish. Now you don't want to go this deep, but you can. You can just go like that. Make sure it cuts all the way through. Okay, so this looks nice. Now select this whole thing and you go to material. So let's change the material to something dark, some dark wood. So let's search for wood. And let's um, find maybe this cherry wood. Okay, it already exists. So find cherry appearance and then let's give it a dark tint. Way dark tint. And for this finish, let's just do unfinished. I like unfinished. And for this part over here, let's just add it some birch wood that's a light wood, so it will be a decent contrast material. Okay, this looks fine. And while we're still in this family, we can do the the table stand, the, the TV stand over here in the same during this in the same family. So just set it to pick a plane. So maybe set it to this wall over here. And you can create kind of a long shelf over here on this wall, kind of finishing here. And make sure it starts perhaps from the wall. And for the height, let's see, the ground offset should be at, I don't know, let's do, let's do 20, that's decent. And here let's do like 40 or even 30 maybe. Yeah, this looks nice. Okay, and let's add some shelves over here. So let's do an offset of five, kind of like that. And then we can bring this in a bit, kind of like that. Or no, maybe let's do it to the other side, actually. So kind of bring it in like so. And let's just to follow this when we can. So let's align this to that, go finish. So it makes a, let's do a 30 centimeter extrusion. And then here we can do a void. So it looks like it has some additional, additional kind of drawers or something like that. So just do it an offset of five centimeters as well. So you go like this or like that. Okay. And then we can place Let's do another one, so offset of one centimeter, and you kind of go like this. Okay, and you just connect it in the middle, find the middle point, 
and then you can offset that by one centimeter now I know it's going to be a bit uneven and let's just split element over here but no one's going to notice so don't worry I won't tell if you don't tell okay so let's finish this off go finish and maybe make it a bit smaller like that yeah this looks quite cool okay and for the material let's just use birch for this as well it will look cool Okay, so we have that, and now let's just go finish model, and let's just see the materials, I just like to check them, see what do they look like, okay, this looks nice, and actually, yeah, this looks alright, yeah, and we need just the TV set now, so just go architecture, component, find the TV set, here it is, let's do the 50 inch one, spin it to the other side and offset it I think it was 30 plus 20 that's 50 and maybe I'm wrong but we'll see in a second it shouldn't go in the wall so let's see yeah I got it right okay so we got our TV set over there and we've got our cupboard okay actually everything looks quite nice so and now to do a rendering I'm going to be doing a kind of a, a floor plan perspective floor plan rendering so just go here and go to camera kind of place it like this generically and then you right click over here on this cube you go orient to view you go floor plans and you go level one now go to level one and place this camera in the center of your bedroom and now you just search here and you find section box turn it on wait a second okay go back into 3d okay here you here you go you have your section box and then you can go to level one or sorry south elevation or some elevation and then you can kind of bring this down a bit and if you go into 3d view it looks kind of like this so this looks nice and then you can maybe trim this a bit I don't know if you want to stay within walls kind of like that and also one more thing we I'm going to do is let's change the the color of these walls let's just change them to white so just go to edit type and search for white gypsum wallboard okay apply okay and actually let's change this one to concrete just for fun so to have an accent wall or something so let's just search for con Concrete. Man, I can't spell today. Okay, let's search concrete and let's find this one. Oh, this one looks cool. So go apply. Okay. 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 Let's see. Ooh, that looks nice. Okay, so let's just go here and let's test this out. So just go double R for render and let's keep it at high actually. And let's set this to printer just to have some decent size so I can place this at the thumbnail. Let's do it 200. Yeah, this looks all right. Okay, let's try rendering this. So I'm just going to hit render. And there you go. Here's the rendering. This looks quite cool. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I hope you have learned something new. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share this video. And if you have any questions, comments or suggestions for future tutorials, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.